Welcome back to the channel that takes the mystery out of sterile processing. I'm Brandon, the Sterile Guy, and today we're focusing on a cornerstone of patient safety, surgical instrument inspection. Whether you're studying for certification, enhancing your skills, or looking to improve your department's processes, this video will guide you through the how, what, and when of instrument inspection. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the why surgical instruments are inspected. The inspection process is critical for ensuring instruments are clean, functional, and free from damage before they're sterilized and used on a patient. It's all about patient safety, efficiency in the OR, and compliance with AMI, AORN, CDC, and HSPA standards. Now let's break down what's being inspected and tested for. There are three main areas that we focus on, cleanliness, functionality, and integrity. Each of these areas has specific tools and techniques to ensure thorough inspection. Let's go step by step. First, cleanliness inspection. Even the smallest residue can compromise sterilization and pose a risk to patients. Here's how to inspect instruments. Use a lighted magnifier to carefully examine all surfaces of the instrument, paying special attention to hinges, box locks, and serrations. Check for dried blood, tissue, and other debris. Stains should not be confused with residual bioburden. When in doubt, reclean the instrument. Consider using testing tools like protein detection swabs for a more precise check of the cleaning processes. If you find contamination, the instrument should be returned to the decontamination room for recleaning immediately. You will also need to clean the workspace that you are using. Next is functionality testing. Instruments need to work perfectly to ensure a smooth surgical procedure. Here's what to do. Check the movement of hinges, ratches, and box locks. They should open and close smoothly without sticking Use a sharpness testing card or dowel rod to confirm scissors and chisels and other items are actually cutting and are sharp like they're supposed to be. Test the torque on laparoscopic instruments and other specialty tools using appropriate testing devices. Also test the insulation tubes on laparoscopic instruments to make sure there are no compromised cracks or areas where a patient could be burned. Any instrument that doesn't perform as expected should be repaired or replaced. Finally, integrity inspection ensures that instruments are structurally sound. Here's what to look for. Examine for cracks, pitting, or corrosion, especially in areas exposed to moisture. Check that all screws and pins are secure. Loose components can lead to instrument failure, but also lead to retaining devices within side of a patient after surgery. Inspect alignment. Forceps and needle holders should meet properly without gaps. Any defects can compromise the instrument's safety and effectiveness and must be addressed immediately. To perform thorough inspections, you need the right tools. Here's a quick list. Lighted magnifiers, sharpness test cards, sharpness test dowel rods, insulation testers, alcohol with a syringe, plus many more other options on the market. And it's a good idea to have an inspection checklist based on your department's standards. Having these tools readily available will make your inspections efficient and accurate. So what do you do when things go wrong? Here are some common issues and troubleshooting tips. Residual debris after cleaning. Review the cleaning processes and confirm proper use of ultrasonic cleaners and detergents within the decontamination room. Sticking hinges or box locks. Soak the instrument in instrument milk to restore smooth movement, or utilize some type of instrument lubrication that you have within your department. Damaged instruments. Remove from service and send for professional repair or replacement. Do not try to repair on your own. Recurring issues with specific instruments. Evaluate the handling, cleaning, and sterilization processes for potential improvements in the process of cleaning those instruments. There could be something failing within that process that is compromising the integrity. 
always document issues and solutions in accordance with your facility's policies. And there you have it, a complete guide to surgical instrument inspection. By following these steps and using the right tools, you are ensuring safety and efficiency in every single surgical procedure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know how you perform instrument inspection within your facility and maybe even any areas where you feel like you could see improvement. Thanks for watching the video. As always, I will catch you in the next one.